need a big budget to start a business in the Philippines, especially if we're looking for stuff that's outsourced. Um, the reason being is it's very hard for locals to duplicate. Um, Westerners prefer to deal with Westerners. Um, yes, it's racist, but yes, that's the way it is. Um, I generally avoid certain countries because of the high corruption levels in them that make it very difficult to trust the word of somebody, which in a lot of the stuff I do, I'm reliant on. Uh, so if I can't, if I'm not comfortable doing it, I simply just don't. Um, simple as that, and many other people do exactly the same. Um, now, it's down to risk. Um, I have no risk uh, problem with those people personally. I just don't know them and where they are regionally and the the risk levels it just I'm not comfortable doing it but anyway so the important thing here is you don't need a big budget you can start the business with yourself you can start by going to things like guru.com or whatever and working your way up utilizing yourself um, maybe you're doing call center stuff get a resource Get a few people that know what they're doing um, and bring them in when you get work coming. But you need to get involved. You are the biggest asset. But doing it that way also means you keep your costs down. I know some people that actually their business operates when they have contracts and that's it. Um, when they have no work, they have no work. But sometimes that's viable. Because if you're making one and a half, two thousand dollars a week profit. Um, you don't have to work all year round if you're living on a single person's income in the Philippines. I'll be honest with you, living on my own, I could afford to live on, I know some guys live on five hundred dollars a month, um, and I could do that. One of the things I am is very mobile as well, which um, allows me to make money elsewhere but anyway I'm getting off on the tangent again there is the opportunity there there is still the opportunity outsourcing is sort of seeing a 20-year turnaround which is going on at the moment where a lot of it's been brought back to the West um, but still a lot of it's been sent out especially the cheaper stuff you know the call center stuff where you get hammered day in day out that's still getting outsourced but if you're a good Westerner with a good skill set and a good team, you can pick up some of the good stuff as well. Because it all costs too much in the West, I'll be honest with you. Office space is too, too much in the West. Um, I was talking to a team of guys this week because they were talking about opening Manila or Cebu. And when they did the comparison of the costs, they could see Cebu was cheaper. Um, but had the same infrastructure and everything else they needed in the business. So the whole point there is, even within the Philippines, you've got Manila and Cebu competing for the IT stuff. But Cebu is still cheaper. Um, with the increasing on the internet quality and speeds, things have got more provincial as well, so there's more access to internet, which makes buildings cheaper. Because the further out you are, the cheaper the buildings get. Um, you may struggle to get some of the staff, but it all depends where you are. It really does. Um, thanks for watching.